We're working on a series of questions, simple questions and simple answers that are part of forgiveness, but are not directly involved in the workbook or in the formal presentation on forgiveness. One of the important questions is, why does hurt hurt? Why does hurt hurt? Why couldn't hurt be pleasurable, for example? Why is hurt painful? Why is hurt embarrassing? Well, I suppose what we really mean is shame is hurtful, or embarrassment is hurtful, ridicule is hurtful. What we really mean is that the word underlying hurt is what the hurt really is all about. Hurt is just a catch-all term for the very specific kinds of feelings and thoughts that we have. That brings me back simply to the question, what is hurt and why does it hurt? Over the years I've spent a great deal of time thinking about the question. I don't know that I have the right answer, but I have an answer that makes sense to me and in sharing it with you I hope that the answer will give you a little bit of a handle on some of your own hurts so as you think about them you'll be able to understand them a little better, manage them a little better, feel more confident in thinking about them and dealing with them. Why does hurt hurt? What about it is painful? I think hurt hurts because hurt has two parts to it. It has a realistic part and an unrealistic part. Now, I defined hurt to be anything that comes into your life that changes your view of yourself and your view of the rules of the world from realistic to unrealistic. So when a person is hurt and they believe that they are somehow defective or broken or somehow not what they originally were, I said I believe that's an unrealistic view of myself or if I believe I'll never get another job, no one will love me again, once this has happened to me, it's all over for me and my future. I believe that's an unrealistic view about the rules of the world and the way the world works. Why does that make for pain? Here's what I think. I think when I'm hurt, I develop an unrealistic view of myself and the rules of the world and at the same time I have my original view still intact inside of my heart or my head. So if I know for example that I'm a normal well-adjusted young boy or a happy contented young woman with many friends and something happens to me to cause me a great deal of hurt and I go from one day being a happy, well-adjusted, normal young man or young woman to being full of the belief that I'm, I'm defective. I have two belief systems going on at the same time. The one of them remembers that I'm really a normal, happy young man. The other one, at the same time, believes I'm damaged goods. I'm prone to failure. I'm destined to lose. And I have two thoughts inside of me waging war with one another. Part of me knows that the original view is the truth. It is the realistic view. The other part of me, the unrealistic part, believes that my life is destroyed. It's impossible for my mind to hold two opposite views at the same time. I cry out for the original view because I want to believe it once again. I want to believe that I'm okay and happy, well adjusted and that I have friends. But every time I do, that other feeling creeps in and takes over. It tells me I'm a failure, I'm prone to fail, I'm worthless, shameful. And so my mind is at war with its own self. I don't hurt so much because the original event was so painful. 
I think I hurt so much because the original understanding of myself and the rules of the world is at war with the unrealistic view of myself and of the rules of the world. The belief that God could love me, that God could forgive me, that God treasures me, is realistic. But somehow, in hurt and in sin, my view of myself and the rules of the world, my view of God, has come to believe that my original world was mistaken. And am I at war to find peace with a view that God created and put in me originally?